In the previous video, we looked at astrology from its ancient origins, such as from within the Egyptian cultures. We looked at the architectural reflections of important constellations on the ground below, in the hermetic principle known as, as above, so below. We then considered modern day occult astrology used in, as well as other fields, secret societies. As in the Freemasonic Royal Arch, adorned with the signs of the zodiac, as well as their use of Egyptian symbolism, such as the all seeing eye, which is seen above the compass and square. A symbol of the architectural tools which are used by the Freemasons to build what they would call the Great Work, a reflection of that which is above, below, on the ground, mimicking the ancient Egyptian knowledge keepers. With this in mind, we considered the astrological or above configuration of 9-11. 180 degree opposition between two key astrological planets, Saturn and Pluto. Saturn, the planet of structure and materialistic power, in the sign of the twins and multiplicity, gave us an interesting below reflection. The twinned world trade structural center of materialistic power, complete with multiple floors. Pluto, the planet of transformation through destruction, in the sign of Sagittarius, foreign cultures and religion, brought to our attention another key, interesting below reflection, the role played by the fundamentalist Islamic hijackers that allegedly destroyed the World Trade Center with fanatical religious fervor based on hatred for the West. With such an impressive sky ground astrological correlation on 9-11, the like of which may never have been seen before with such precision, we asked the question, was there something more to 9-11 than we have been led to believe, or was it all merely astrological synchronicity? A closer look at the sign which Saturn occupied on 9-11 reveals that Gemini, ruled by Mercury the winged messenger, is the sign of communication. Saturn, whose astrological symbolism also includes restriction, whilst in Gemini, can be said to be astrologically the restriction of communication. And that is certainly something that the official explanation expects us to believe, with both NORAD and the FAA suffering serious setbacks in communication by failing to dispatch interceptive aircraft. More impressive as above so below correlations can be seen when we consider that the topping out or final structural work was completed on the World Trade Center as Saturn entered Gemini years previously in 1971. But it wasn't until some two years later that the World Trade Center opening ceremony was held when Saturn occupied the exact same area of Gemini as it did on 9-11, giving us another remarkable as above so below correlation of Saturn being in the exact same place when the Twin Towers were publicly opened in 1973 and so publicly closed on 9-11-2001. Indeed, there are some striking resemblances between Saturn above and the World Trade Center below. According to the NASA website, Saturn's rings are made up of seven parts, and remarkably, the World Trade Center has seven buildings. The occult symbol for Saturn, seen here from the Freemasonic Scottish Rite depiction, is the Seal of Solomon. And the seventh building of the World Trade Center was the Solomon Building. Minoru Yamasaki, 
designed the World Trade Center complex to aesthetically mirror the Islamic temple at Mecca, where the black stone of the Kaaba is placed. Many historians believe that the Kaaba itself is a pagan representation of the planet Saturn. Did the Illuminati design and build the World Trade Center complex to hermetically mirror the symbolism of Saturn in some way? Are these five direct links between the two entities coincidence, astrological synchronicity, or something else entirely? In occult lore, Saturn is known as the gateway to the gods and the dweller on the threshold, giving us the idea of Saturn symbolizing an entrance to somewhere or something. But where? Here is a Freemasonic ritual of someone at the entrance to somewhere with two pillars either side and the seal of Solomon above. Does the entrance lead to a symbolic temple of Solomon, with the two pillars of Boaz and Jackin being ritualistically embodied as the Twin Towers? This will be touched on in a later presentation. But in the meantime, I'd like to draw your attention to a bit of synchromysticism that my partner and I experienced shortly after I uploaded the first video entitled Do You Believe in Magic? After making sure the film had uploaded, my partner and I decided to watch a film on a well-known film link site. As we scrolled through the vast list of uploaded films, my partner was drawn to a particular title, The Tenth Kingdom. I clicked on the title and was taken immediately to this poster designed for the film, released in the year 2000. The words, do you believe in magic, at the top would have been enough to make me chuckle synchronistically, but to see an as above so below depiction, so similar to the one I had used in the first video, had me synchronistically sorcerized. And as if that wasn't enough, the trailer showed us that a time door or Saturn Solomon Gate opened up in New York with the Twin Towers as a point of destination. Buildings are destroyed and as a giant strides across a bridge, the Twin Towers can be seen collapsing in the background. We watched and what followed is certainly illuminating and will be touched upon in another episode. Thank you.